if he knows anything about this stuff and these people and if he's got ideas to get through. Carlton is gives you the I, I don't know. So you, he didn't okay. we haven't we didn't encounter these people. This village wasn't here when I came through. And for those of you that weren't here, he's uh, he's maybe a thousand years away from when he came here last. He's been locked in stasis by the demon until you guys came. <laughs> um what was the object we're looking yeah, for? Like, there was um, no one, um, without valid reason, no one is allowed to go beyond this point. We would ask that you would leave the valley. Uh, can't be honest, do that. Okay. What's to the south? Do you know what's to the south? Yes, we do know what's to the south. And if you don't know what's there, then you don't need to go there. Would there be a great pyramid to the south? It's no it's working right here, working right. We have no choice yeah. but to stay in the valley. Our lives depend on... Explain on, the curse. Just be honest. It, yeah, we, our lives depend on finding that pyramid. Or we'll die. We mean you no harm, but we have no choice. That's what I thought. Thanks for the heads up. Bye -bye. I mean, just out of character really quick. So, like, honestly, like, I think we should look at this in a, a different light because, like, you know, he sort of put us on contract. We're going to die. We have to do what he says, whether they like it or not. So if we let them know what's going on, we may figure out that we're in a, a reversed negative situation that we don't want to be, and maybe they'll be able to help us out. But I didn't want to say anything because I don't want to sure. trigger it as a thing unless we discussed it first. And so, because now I remember, and it's like, so I'm putting yeah. that out there, and like, I think we should just be completely honest and see what the hell happens. And if it oh, doesn't we work, we just kill them all. <laughs> that might be the next step. Yeah, I was just trying to. Right. We might not have to if we get something out of them because of our situation. Correct. We might be able to remedy, remedy it. Maybe so they I'm just letting that out there. Do something to protect you or. Right. Or That's the, do yeah. some action. I think yeah. it's worth being honest. Like right. My gut, says, that, my gut says My gut says we're serving an evil guy and all these non evil beings down here. There's a 50 50 shot. They're. They're going to try to stop us because of who's we're serving, which is why I'm trying yeah, to dance around so. it. We've made it. We have made it stick. Yeah. Oh, you're back in character. Sorry. I'll shut up. No, I'm fine. I wasn't still back. I'm just waiting to see what Richard says. Being honest. Our comment. <laughs> I mean, we told him we're here. Our lives depend on it. We have to go through. We haven't gone through the thing of the devil guy, but I'm still waiting a response from what I just said. Well, we're we're uh -oh. very sorry sorry that sad to hear that your lives depend on it, but um, there is nothing beyond here that would save your lives that we could let you do. We have to enter there because we're, for what we're looking for, if we don't get it, we're dead. So we have to do it, and we know there's something there. I understand that sad situation, but we cannot let you. If I'll kind of give them the, because we kind of made a little copy of the, the map area, and I'll ask him, yeah. is this to the north, past your village, or to the south? Good move. That is beyond our village, and we cannot let you go there. Hmm. We, we have no choice. We really do not want to have a conflict with you. Yeah, you seem like good people. But if we go through, I have a feeling it's going to be conflict. Please let us just Why aren't we allowed go there? around or whatever to get to our destination. 
we are like here we to stop people because that is a very holy place and no one is allowed to go there. Why is it a holy place and, and can we talk to the holy one that controls it? Is there a way to commune with them? Maybe you can get it a, get us out of the predicament at, we're at, in. At at yes. the, at this at this time this time you see Kaylin take out his uh, holy symbol uh, land and say two dinars two dinars prayer my people would you deny me my right as the cleric of Elon of the elves would you deny me that which is my right given to me by my Well, we would not deny you any right that was yours, but there is no right to be at the temple beyond. Do you have a leader we can talk what? to? Maybe if we tell them our predicament. Yeah, I am the leader. Out. Okay. All right. So what is yeah. the temple? At least tell us that if you're going to let us die. It is a temple raised to Cyrell. Okay. Why don't we just That's tell them what our task is and what we have to get. And they can either help us get it and do it, or I guess we're forced into fighting them. Well, I mean, the if she opinion? has communion, she could do a, a Galran oh. and commune with her gods. See if she can get us some answers. So everybody that everybody can make a lore check. Uh, what do you want a D20? D20, yeah. It'll vary depending on who you are. That's fine. But, I can't see my 20. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah, there it goes. It's just okay. you three up there, right? Well, everybody can hear. We, I mean, you guys all are doing it. Like, everybody? Okay. Yeah. Well, we slowly have moved a bit closer. You know, not like. Yeah, you, you, you can move up if you want. You're not that far away. They're talking. Well, I don't know if. Well, I don't... Maybe okay. the. Uh, this isn't a performance, but um. Maybe the sound of music soothes the beast. So, guys, okay. I might be in and out. If I take a while to respond, it's because they just brought me my dinner. Ah, okay. So, Galathon, you come moving up. And as you get there, you hear her say Cyrell. And... That name clicks with you. Um, I don't know. You just have this this uh, kind of obsession with Mortius. Now, Mortius was one of the one of the three most powerful of the gods. You know, as I say, was and uh, Mortius is is the the Daughter is one of the three offsprings of the uh, All Father, and she was the most powerful of the three, and she created most of life on the earth out on 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 earth outside of the races, which were created by the All Father. But the animals, the plants, 
all that stuff is hers. And um, uh, several thousand years ago, her brother, Orndul, the god of chaotic evil, um, had seized control of the world. Now, this is a different god than just like a hundred years ago got kicked out of power. Um, Orndul was an earlier run at a evil god running the world. And um, he was very jealous and fearful of Mortius. And one night in his sleep, he ventured out and caught her in one of her glades communing with her favorite trees, and he killed her. And he also killed Cyrell one of her chief lieutenants who was there with her before he got to her. So that's who the temple is significant to. Not understanding that, are they immortal? Now, the rest of you would have known about Mortius and being killed by Orndul. He's the one that remembers Cyrell and ties her into that story. Hmm. They're obviously protecting it. Either back off, find a sneaky way around, or kill him, or talk him down further. Like I was saying, well, no, people no to do a communion with the God. The, nobody's told him the story about the basically the the was it a purple ball thing we have to um, retrieve. I mean, if, if that's a bad guy that they hate, we're going to fight anyway. Right, we might I know. As well Tell give him. him a shot. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Was there a name for the purple ball thing, or just a purple ball thing? I think I wrote down as purple ball thing. Okay. Orb, I think he called it, but, you know. Well, then, fine. Let's it, tell him just, about uh, the purple orb thing. Hello? Can you all hear me? A purple orb. Is not... Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Ah. Uh, I just now got to the hotel. Sorry about that. Okay. No problems. And sorry I missed the uh, last time. I, I completely forgot it was Friday that day. I, I've been it mixed, happens. Up since, mixed up since. How are y'all doing? We're about to die. <laughs> well, it's a good thing the thief finally showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Save all your lives. We gave okay. we gave, we gave you a bunch of magic items last last session too. I doubt it. Yeah, it brings it to <laughs> Anyway, let's see. Well, I say we just tell them about the purple wall thing, get it out of the way, and see if yeah. they, I just did it twice. Ahead, you, if you at least mention it, and if we're forced to fight, you know, you did everything you possibly could. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we were we were we were commissioned to get this thing for this person, or we are in tr deep trouble because we're in under contract, or we die. So we need this object, and if there's a way to get it, that would be nice if you could help, or we could find a compromise. <laughs> yeah, if they can do something about the curse. Laughing, they can do Why some quests to do to get the ball My off. Of another... I hope I, I hope my microphone's working. Yeah, yep. I can hear you. Oh, okay. okay, all right. 
It didn't feel like it for a second. I so thought what? I was just blabbing into the wind. Can y'all fill me in a little bit about what's happened since time before last? That's a really long story. We're at a point where we're coming close to the temple from the little model, and we're trying to find out how to get to it, and they won't let us there. And so we're telling them what our contract was and that we want it, and we got to figure out a way to get it. There. That's quick. the quick version. Okay. Is and that it, the temple there in front of us? Then it's no. ahead of us. It's just a village. No. Okay. It's That's the town. It's, it's just the a village. It's just a village. Oh, okay. It's just a village. Well, yeah, also filled with good mm -hmm. little elk tars or something. These are good beans protecting something about the temple. Little, uh, so we're trying where to, we all get to go through. We'll see what happens. We can, we can also tell them that if they have somebody who's more powerful who can break the spell, break the curse on us, then we'd be more than happy to do that instead. We did. We basically told them what our thing we, we was. Tried that. If they could they get lost. orb. Or help us break the. Well, you haven't up. tried that, or if you didn't know, no, we you didn't get me to hear. Help us get out of it. That's what I said. Oh, I, I did not hear that. That's okay. Uh, my charisma is at fifteen. I don't know if that gets me anything. Are you guys cursed? Yes. We're contract. No, we have... It's like a. It's yeah, we basically it's like a under, quest spell. Under duress. Or yeah, or a, or a, or a, a geese. Geese. Yeast, yeah. I but it was done under duress. I mean, yeah, he like forced us to sign the that. demon's really going to feel yeah. bad about that. Oh, I won't send him to hell because I did it under duress. I do have yeah, removed first. <laughs> I do have <laughs> removed first. <laughs> you better just hope that when you get back with what he wants, he doesn't send you to hell anyway. <laughs> You know, that's that's what you right. need to be concerned wow. with. Not it not your legal pleading. So yeah, we need to figure out a way to to a bait and switch on this whole thing. I think. Is that a Lamborghini? Hey. That's very cool. Hello, can you Is hear me? This where we test out. Yes, here you're good. Okay, I was. Do we test just... out the backpack and put it over the head of one of these elkters? <laughs> Let that mother loose if we have to. Just hold on. She looks at you and she goes, I can see that you have been placed in a dilemma. Yes, we have. We will yep. allow you to camp here and we will send someone to inquire at the temple and see what help they may be able to provide. Uh, fair enough. It's that also awesome. possible that yeah. we may be able to help them. Well, the they're doing fine, dude. Them. They're they're good guys. No, no, I'm they're saying doing... I'm telling them we could do a quest for them yeah. if, we use... if we need to. Well, I'm. Oh, I'm I, sure what I was going to suggest that. was: is there a way we can through. use the? Is there a way we can use? Taking the orb to him to set up a trap for him for your masters. How clever, thief! We just need. Do we just? We will not let. Thief? We will not let the orb leave the valley. Leave the temple. Yeah. Even. This is true. This is true. Well, there are beings greater than us beyond us. Yeah. What kind of beings are these? Don't worry. We saw we saw it's, a sphinx previous. Yeah, I know that. I remember that. It was, uh, Pick time before all that. the way in. Ted, Take there's, all a, the way what? there's a there's a picture of it when he was saying all the way up on Discord. Maybe scroll all the way. We Patricio was doing all kinds of memes. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> so this village is really There's looks a nice. Of a, of a, a pack that I yeah, got yeah. with my subscription here, and so I pulled it up and put it in here, and I started looking at each of these each of these little buildings, each of the little houses, and. 
each of them has a kitchen, a bedroom, a living area, and a bathroom in it. Complete with commode outhouse in the house. Dare you say DM? Kaylin would uh, inquire. Is there anyone in your village that can make a duplicate of this uh, orb? So the the original orb does not leave the village. No? No. What is the orb? That's the question. It is a... crystal sphere in which Sorel has been preserved all these millennia. Her power, her essence, which are both. Both. Her soul. Why do you think that other being would want this? Yeah. That's... It could be an undoing of many uh... things. Well, well, I suggest we sleep it out and let them talk. I mean, they know we don't we don't want to have to take this, so if they can come up with a way to help get us out of it, let's give them time to talk. And obviously by not right. doing anything and waiting, we are showing that we can be an ally, not an enemy. Mm-hmm. We should still set watches. I don't want to do what a you say, Richard? How many what? How many days do you have left? Well, we have a lot. We we negotiated oh, for a lot of days. We negotiated for like okay. half a year. Oh, okay. Like six months. I thought it was twenty four hours. We had twenty four hours to do it. We've only played two games. It was twenty four hours and we're dead. Let's roll new character. Be him hard and wine <laughs> enough that Richard got tired of us and gave us a little bit of a little bit of something. <laughs> That's right. Right on. He that gave was in. Terrible, little, huh? dude. Yeah, that yeah, wasn't weak. That wasn't weakness. That's a good DM. Helping us out so we can get the shit figured out. Yep. He's helping us out so we can get the storyline moving. <laughs> I wish a DM would kill all these cars so I didn't have to deal with them. It's like, oh, I'm going to find you, damn people. I'll do this. Just move it. Oh. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, in between, what is it? 10 and 5 miles an hour right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. so, I can seriously get doing... something while I'm doing this. I've been doing between 70 and 90 all day. I'm pooped. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing? Driving driving back to Texas? Or driving back to Ohio? I drove to Camden. I drove to Camden. Uh, New Jersey. Camden, New Jersey? Yeah. Oh, so you're in Camden now? Yep. Wow, you had to go to Jersey. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm going to see the USS New Jersey. That's where it is. Right. Tomorrow, uh, uh, Thomas Bell is going to have a uh, thing, uh, uh, history thing on there. Yeah. On board. And uh, with Ryan Zemanski, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> well, that'll be good. Okay. So, um, you guys can set up the camp. Uh, you guys still have plenty of food to eat, or actually, I don't know. They'll bring you some food in case you don't have any. Um, is it elk? You actually, probably don't. feel I'll like there's. You you get a feeling there's probably about twenty or so of these creatures here. And we need to take a watch. We need to do watches if we stay the night. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, no gullible travel surprises here. Okay. And I mean, and and before you, before you know that they uh, 
are very amenable. They're not doing anything that seems threatening. That's fine. Um, just safe. Okay, so you guys can, uh, who's on first watch? Give me your rolls. Do we have a thing, right? What do we roll? I forget. Uh, D20. Or D20. Okay. Trying to get to that. I'll do it on second watch this time. No, stay in your lane. No, I'm gonna be a jerk. No, forget it. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, like I have a little bit of space, so I'm safe. Uh, Alcon, I'm to get in. Your watch passes quietly. And in fact, all of you are very, very feeling very relieved because mm. it is actually like the temperature's not changing much. And like it doesn't get cold at night? It's not getting any colder than it was, or just a little bit. Huh. The other thing that suddenly probably dawns on all of you was you're on a pretty thin, pretty narrow, tall canyon, and there wasn't really shading like you would have expected. Oh, it's a light. And you didn't really see the sun, the sun per se. It was just light. Uh huh. And now. At night, it's staying fairly warm. You can see clouds, but those of you on watch will notice that there's no moon, and there has been a moon up. Um, Could we be so whoever's on second watch can give me your rolls. <laughs> it is very quiet on your watch. Bobbin, you have a Sorry. hard time not getting lost in the 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 embers of the f campfire. And uh, the nine, Theranol and John, you guys have a relatively quiet watch as well. Um, and again, it's kind of like. Now, as you kind of thought of it, when it changes, it's almost like it just gets lighter. You're not seeing the sun. Hello, world. Which you wouldn't expect to see early in the day, but you'd also expect it to be much later and to have great shadow from the eastern side of the, or the eastern wall of the canyon. Um. That's light. And the two of them come out and say, um, someone is coming to speak to you from from the uh from the temple. Mm. Got to step away for a second, but I will be listening. So, yep. okay. So, let's talk about there at all. No, I can hear you, dude. <laughs> I just won't be able to talk. Again, we'll wait till you can't talk and we'll talk about him. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not waiting for us for something, are you, Richard? No, I just realized I needed to get a uh, cleric out here. Oh, a token.
Okay, so these two come out, and um, they they tell you hello. They introduce themselves. The uh, she's a woman. Yeah, the 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 black woman who introduced herself as Bar, and uh, the white man will introduce himself as Lagos. Um, those of you. Almost everybody would recognize both of them have the great tree emblem of Mortius on their garments. And um, they say, we have heard your plight. And we believe that you, after treating with, with our friends, honestly, that we need, we, we will help you. Can you show us this contract? Do we have it? Or did, did he give us a bad guy copy keep it? it? He gave you a copy. Okay, here you go. It's tattooed it's on the chest back. Open it up and show it to us. <laughs> they don't want to touch it. Okay, I'll open up and show it to them. And they both look at it, examine it, and Xylos goes, Do you mind? I'm I'm going to cast a small spell that'll that give me some indication of its makeup. Go right ahead. And yeah. you notice him doing it. And those of you that are the, the, the clerics in the group are not are are, are see this as, as basic stuff and there's nothing alarming. He's not getting ready to like to throw a huge fireball or something at you. And he he does it and you can kind of see a bit of a glow on it. And he goes, um, he looks at, at Kavar and he goes, yes, we can, we can, we can deal with this. Great. So I, now, we will, this is going to be a rather, um, this isn't an easy thing, and there are some costs to it on us, um, but we would ask yep. if you would do a task for us. Um, sure. What might that be? And he had he had been carrying a satchel over one arm, and he opens it up and he reaches in there, and he pulls out a leather bag. And Ragnar, you probably, as soon as you see it, you can recognize it. There's probably a mace in it. <laughs> okay. And he's going to set it down on the ground between you. He's going to let you know, this is a cursed item. Um, it has very, a very cha chaotic, evil bewitching on it. It bring it, it, it is actually called the malevolent, and it brings malevolence wherever it goes. Um, someone had been given it and sent here, and they even reached the temple because of the power that it had. We were able to stop them. But we, none of us can leave this valley. And you can. 
And it is a bit of a journey to where it goes. And I'm popping you back to the area map. You see where I'm pinging? Yep. That's where it, there is a temple there that has a vault in which it can be safely stored. You would need to go there and reach that vault and replace it in the vault. We're not sure exactly how the vault is. We don't have any plans of the temple, but we need you to take it there and put it away. By taking this mace, will I then be cursed by the mace? Not if you keep it in the bag. No, not automatically. If you were to decide to use it, it could it could curse you. But simply transporting it, no. Okay. What is the curse of the mace? That you become a creature of malevolence. So it changes me and takes over my mind, probably. The chaotic evil. Oh. It gives you an alignment change. I would be will step, step forward and say he didn't um, sign the contract. He's here to help his friends, and he's happy to assist you to get rid of this evil item. Thank you. What he said. So yeah, I think we're happy to help him out now. Do they? Okay. What's the process that you guys need from us to take care of this contract? They're like, well, we will need a day to prepare. And then we will come back here tomorrow morning and we will do what needs to be done to destroy the contract and relieve you of the skis. Sounds great. Do you know, is there anything you can prepare us for at the end of our journey with the mace that we might encounter? The temple is somewhat of a maze and a puzzle. And reaching and putting the mace in its in its location in its vault there is not a straightforward walk in open the door put it down and walk out so you'll have you'll have to really search to find the find the vault and then it's quite a puzzle to get into the vault from what we've heard but we don't know any information on what it is <laughs> oh so we're going to have to break into the vault you may not have to break into it, but you'll have to figure out the secret. There's a puzzle way. to get in or something we'll have to do. Do you yep. know if that temple Wrong. slash vault is protected like you guys are protecting this one? N no, it is not protected as we are protecting this one. It is protected by evil creatures who don't want it to get back in. Okay. Well, I don't mind wiping out evil creatures. Yeah, Me that good. This is a much better quest than we had before. Okay. I was hoping you'd not, you'd you'd, you'd <laughs> mow down the village and find out when you got to the temple, <laughs> and like the gold dragon was there waiting for you. But Dude, there was a no lot well. of good stuff around this. It seemed like you know we wanted to talk to somebody. I thought you were really close last session, and then you kind of forgot not it. We really just started murder this hobos. Uh, aren't y'all glad no, I, 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 I popped in? The unicorn <laughs> to kill the unicorn. It was a. Uh, 
It was a decision. So that was an accident. The night will pass. The they'll come that. back out. They'll be able to do it, and it goes, and you all feel a lightning of spirit. Uh, they will offer Coralden to stay with them and become part of their troop. Okay. Knowing his condition and his situation, they feel he will be better here with them, and he does too. So that's cool. He stays there, and the rest of you guys are now. Who did? Coralden. Who's that? He, he was our guide to get here, but then um, William had some other issues. Oh. He had to step out, so that's how we're taking care of his character. Oh, but he was already assigned as kind of like the guy that knew the way here, so it was kind of like, okay, he'll be an NPC for a bit more, and that time is over, and this is a good yeah. place to park him. Leave him. Who knows? He may show back up at some point as an NPC, but uh, yeah. for now, he'll just stay here. Okay. And if he's so, up in real so life, we'll find a way to get him out. Uh, before the, before uh, we head out, uh, you notice that uh, Kalen's uh, any demeanor has uh, shifted. He's more soft than he would uh, ask of these two guys that have invaded your safety. Of your your oh. tranquility. What he was a a man of the um, Anakians. Um, we knew that at one point was a powerful warrior, uh, and he had some other warriors with him. They all perished. So since you released us of this, is there anything that we can do quickly for you nearby? Or if you can't leave the valley, is there any, maybe there's some food stuff or something that you would like outside the valley we can bring back? Oh, that is very kind of you, but we are, we are very, we are very fortunate that uh, Sorrel was a, uh, was a great, um, Wizard, great plant creator oh. and cultivator, and so she blesses all of our gardens and all of our activities. Great. Okay. And we still don't know. Well, then we will help out. Yeah, you always got a friend in me. <laughs> Heart, heart, heart. Heart. So, did they take care of the next day out of here? Okay. Um, one second here. Uh, after, we, after we return this uh, weapon of uh, evil. Uh, is there any, is there anything you would wish? No, I mean you could possibly, if you're back in the area, come and visit and let us know that the task is accomplished, just so we know that it's been taken care of and that the the evil is not still floating around out there. Sure, but do I'm not do not feel that it's necessary. Just like I said, is if you're in the area, you're welcome to come. Just come here, and uh, they will contact us, and we will come meet with you again. You can let us know how it went. Um, by the way, one, there was this floaty it, thing that had a disc and a couple eyes and a mouth. Didn't seem like a bad dude, but do you know what that was? Yes, that is that is one of our our friends. They're called flumps. They, was I right? They are right eyes and flumps. ears. I, I knew it too. I, I just didn't want to say it. Around. <laughs> I, had a, I was I had a I can't see anything. I was just screwing around. <laughs> are, are they your guardians? That's funny as shit. In the, sorry. Um, sorry. Was that I, what I, I wouldn't saying? say guardians, but they are our roaming 
roaming eyes in the valley. And then there was the lady coming down the the steep incline is also is that she connect with you or just another good being that tries to get yeah, stuff she out? She is of one of our guardians and she warned you not to come. It's, it's As you understand, one... we were forced to from our perspective. Yes, we do, and you did not kill her. And uh, had you killed her, then we would have had a different discussion here yesterday. <laughs> if if one of our um, uh, members should uh, be slain in the course of this, could we return and have them raised from the dead? Asked the clerk. Oh, by all means, if you can get here, you'll be really right by that. Do that for one of you. Um, Unless you have the right spells. You you wouldn't have to ha have this powerful magic on a scroll that we could take in with us. Whoa, really? Nice. Yes, that's the XP you guys get for this one. Wow. Oh, yeah, was good was a big, big quest for you guys. The 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 implications had you got it back to him were were pretty pretty big. We still got to go back and see him. No, we don't want for. We no, we have to go back. Well, if you want to? That's up to you. They released us from it. I think we're good. And last thing we oh, do okay. is go back if he was that powerful and could wipe us out. Yeah. Are you looking for us one? I still, I still want to make him reach inside the bag. I think right, he's yeah. somehow trapped in that room because if he was that powerful, why would he be in a room? Right. Yeah. So I think so long unless as we don't go so, back, we'll be free. Unless that was Maybe some kind of the, portal to summon him. Yeah, the purple glo uh, globe could have released him from imprisonment. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I traded off one just for another. Oh, wherever he is my last hell. question to them, Richard, would be yeah. to help us. Is there anything that you would want to provide us with or that you could provide us with to help us with this quest? Other than the evil mace. It's dead scroll. Actually, I prefer to know more about my armor. Um... She says, well, I will grant to your your cleric that asked, the dwarf, one, one scroll of resurrection. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make it resurrection reincarnation, depending on who it is. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much, and, she says. And then um, each of you may ask one scroll of us. One scroll? One scroll. I don't know. I'm not near my papers yet. But dwarves can't, or fighters can't use scrolls, so that's, am I asking for somebody else, or can I actually ask for one? Uh, you could ask you one would one have to get some, them. you could ask for, you would get it, then someone else that could cast it would have to cast it. Like you could give it to Blunden, or you could give it to Durin, or you could give it okay. to Kaylin. I would like a a uh, uh, stone to flesh scroll. So that if one of us gets turned into stone, we have a remedy. That's a good one. I want a scroll of multiple casting. <laughs> <laughs> Of course you do. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to scroll through my phone and delete your number. <laughs> uh, let's see where some the flesh falls on here. Yeah, I don't know what I want. It is up there. I'll give you that. I'll be there in five minutes. Hopefully you guys are still playing. It's, are a, magic, it's a magic user's level five. Yeah. Oh, they can't do that. They're not okay. magic users. No, they're not. Okay. No, no, had a, so like, they won't give you any more seventh level spells. They've given you a seventh level spell. 
Okay, no problem. Well, uh, an elemental ring of, of, of Earth would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the maniacal laugh. I know, the evil maniacal laugh. Did I miss something here? Are we getting scrolls or rings? What, what, what? It sounds like we you are getting scrolls. scrolls. Oh, okay. Clerical, clerical Okay, scrolls. how about a cure disease? That would be useful. I have it as a spell. You have it as a spell? Yeah. Uh, is there something more powerful we could use? How about, oh, uh, what about restore? Is there a restore? Is that magic? I, uh, I think restore is a cleric spell. They will give you one restoration, too. Okay. There you go. That was mine. Uh, you know I what? Guess. I'll still take a neutralized poison, yeah. even though we have some, some potions. That's one of those ones okay. that you need it, you need it now. You can't wait till someone sleeps and get it. Okay. You can have a neutralized poison. I'm just looking for stuff to help us in a bad, bad situation. No, I get that. Like the resurrection I'm scroll. Right. Any wish scrolls? <laughs> I'm just throwing it out. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or ridiculous. Oh, there's four probably. more of you. Oh, no, they do not. Wish is, wish is not a cleric spell. Can I have a genie in a bottle? Maybe one of you could, you could also get a resurrection. So we have two. Yeah, they are going to do two resurrections. They 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 let oh, you have a restoration. It said mass. one, and then I was like, well, restoration, yeah, we can see that you might need that. So they'd give that hey. back. They would give that as and well. It, Drain, Someone could ask drain. for resist fire. It'll be really high here. Resist fire could help us if we have to walk through a fire to get this thing back. Or really protect you from Theranol when he fucks up and fireballs oh, no. y'all again. Yeah. <laughs> There's that too. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? The protection from Theranol that spells what that is. <laughs> yeah, yes. we hear stuff. The air is definitely coming through your lips. Uh, I was going. Yep, yeah, Ted. Ow, I'm stuck in the desk. About I was going, I was, I was going to ask about flying mass. The mass you want a flying mass. Flying. Won't that hang you? Mass, as in I can cat one casting cast affects multiple people. Oh. There is no such spell. He wants to become an airline. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if there, I don't, I don't think there's a magic user spell. There's definitely not a cleric spell of that. I know. But that's yeah. What page? Well, we're just in the wrong edition. <laughs> there is a spell, but it's just the wrong edition. Arr. What about dispel evil? I don't know. Uh, dispel. I don't know about. There's not dispel evil. There's dispel magic. There is. Dispel evil is a Oh, there is dispel evil. Yep, yeah. if you want dispel evil, you can have it. Are you writing that down, Nicodemus? I am writing it down. Because I'm not taking notes away is from the people. Is there a. I ain't taking any notes. It is a <laughs> Oh, you want I, to ask for throw No, that, that that's that's not another. the first level spell. I think I can have another one. What'd you ask for? Restore. Restore? Uh, you did yeah, get, get a restoration a and a resurrection, regeneration. Right. Or resurrection, reincarnation, and that's it. Why? Can I ask for another one? He said no. You can ask, but they won't. Oh, okay. Well, no, I, was, he was asking, else. Like, I was I get supposed one? to get something, so. I'm good. Do you, do you want to ask for re resist Did fire, Toronto? No. Do I? That's why I'm asking. Do I get another one? Because I asked for restoration. I thought. Oh we were yeah, no, one you can one. get you get one, but you just they're just not doing a second re rest. They're just not going to do. Okay. They've well, done I the restoration. One of the, one of the oh, thing. you already asked for restoration. You were the one that yeah, originally that's asked what for I was restoration. Saying, yeah. Oh, okay. So he's already gotten one. Okay, I got you covered. Duran's got one. Um, it's obviously not home. Uh, Ragnar's gotten one. So let's just do this kind of in order here. Galifon. 
you're never. Galathon. He put away from keyboard in the in the chat, and he hasn't come back. Oh, okay. Uh, Nicodemus. Yes. What would you like? Yes. Yeah, I'm here. Spell evil. Yes. Oh, okay. There you go. Hold on. I heard Galathon. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's what cleric scroll would you like? Cleric scroll, like any level. Uh, any level up to sixth. Up to sixth. Uh, the heal spell. Heal. Okay. You've got a heal spell, and you can just make sure you tell. You can either keep it with you, or you can give it to a cleric, or just give it to a cleric that's handy when you're ready to have it used. Okay. Um. So now Nicodemus. No dispel evil. Yes, uh, you can have the dispel evil, and then. Okay. Veda. What, what about uh, Vivify? Yeah, there's no Revivify in this edition. How many? Um, how how many? I'll let you have that. We'll call that a special. I know how that spell works, so I'll let you have it. Are these scrolls just one one um one one page one scrolls? Casting spell. Yep. Just one okay, one casting. All right. Yep. Damn. What level is it limited to? Uh, Six. sixth. At this oh. point. We've already given two sevenths and they're like no more of those. These are nice people. <laughs> I was just looking at and we gain see where Ten thousand For those of you that don't know what Revivify is, if someone dies and they haven't been dead for like, if they've been dead less than an hour, like, is you like can bring them dead? back. Pain Excuse death. me. I think that's like the no. It's death. not feign death. No, no, no. It okay. doesn't. It does. It's feign death makes you makes it look like you're dead. Revivify oh, okay. is it's a fifth level, it's that a fifth is... edition spell that like if you're okay. killed, then they can revive you uh, if they do it close enough to the to that point of death. Did we all gain ten thousand points? Yes, you all gain ten thousand points. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then we could you sell, these and sell all these scrolls for the gold. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think I made level seven. So, if you're still thinking, Ted, then Bobbin, what would you like? Uh, up to what level? Up to sixth. Six, okay. Well, whatever the highest. Uh... Heal spell is. Heal. Or Heal. a couple of a couple of the middle ones, I guess. No, he'll give you a heal. Okay. We put these on our sheet then. Yeah. Or we hand them out to people who can. Well, use unless them. you want to give it to a cleric. If I hold on to. You'll it, have to have a cleric that. cast it, but you can keep up keep possession of it until you're ready to have it cast. Yeah, we're always blowing the clerics up, so I'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Give it to him. Okay, so Ted, we're waiting on you. We have a cleric. Yep, you've got actually three clerics now. Hank, <laughs> didn't tell I give it to him. <laughs> Two clerics. The time being. The... Listen. They're in all his eyeing them and, and, and checking his uh, spell book, so what we I don't know how book? long that'll last. What's going on? Uh, did anybody take remove curse? Not yet. Uh, I do, I do have it curse? as a spell. Yep, no, no one's done that, oh, you so you can have a remove curse. No, he's already got it as a spell, so we, that would be a waste of a, of a scroll. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I'm, I'm looking Let's through the first it. level spells. I know a lot of, of powerful spells, but not necessarily first edition. So let me look okay. for a second. 
All right. So the rest of you, while Ted's doing that, you can start trying to figure out what, the hell we'll what you're on. doing, where you going. I think we're just <laughs> heading out the valley and heading up towards the X marks the spot now, aren't we, guys? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. And it's okay. A so of who how do we want to go? Did we get their Did we get their names or anything else? Because I'm writing this in my equipment notes. Because I got the scroll of dispel evil from. Yeah. What do we uh, call these mini centaurs? <laughs> well, they're they're hill hibblus is the Hibbless. actual name of what they are. Mm. Yes, and I, I would have tried to at the name. The clerics that provided these spells to you are names on here. Far and Xylos. Oh yeah, I'm level seven. We. Uh, are these strictly clerical, or can they be uh, druidic? Do they also have druids yep, among them. They're clerical. Just clerical. Okay. Yep. In that case, how about Blade Barrier? That's a good one. It's a six level spell. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you do you do realize that you'd have to get a cleric to cast that. Uh don't I have the ability to use magic items at some point? Arcane magic items. What's that? A clerical. What's that? Oh. Not clerical a clerical arcane, scroll. Right? Well, I have it available. You can give it to a cleric when he needs it. Yeah, we got three of them. Uh, Alright, just wanted to make sure you understood that. Because if your your thought process yeah. was oh oh you know he was going to try to cast it, <laughs> I thought I had the ability to just be able to try to cast magic items, but you're right, it is arcane only. Okay, yeah. I understand. Okay, I mean think about it. <laughs> yeah, but whenever we need blade barrier, it's going to be kind of oh, okay. What do we do here? I got it. I got blade barrier. Let's use it. Okay. I mean, I agree. It'll still be helpful, but just making sure you weren't going to be thinking, oh, I'm going to pack that away, and then when when it gets dire, I can whip it out and mm -hmm. use it. Whoa. Uh, hey, do they have any wolf's bane we can hook up with and take some of that with us? <laughs> no, they don't. I don't know. It was random, and I just want some herbs, you know? I'm going to go AFK for a second again. You want some herb? Yeah, All right, yeah. so should we decide how we're going to get there? We've done quite a bit of traveling previously. We still have horses outside when we get back to them. Yep. That'll work. Because up here, yep. between these two things and all up in this area, is the witch and all that other stuff. So if we go through any of that, we're gonna have to deal with all that crap again. Okay. Or we could probably minute, come what? here the along witch? the coast what? type of area. Can we go, what about going to Barachi and taking a boat? I guess I don't wanna go back north and... Right, so... Could that could be a possibility. Boat. There would be boats in Barachi. And then good. we just go along the coast to like Methric. No. And then I don't want no mouth. Yeah, it might do that. The and then after we do this, we could go here and then deal with the witch if we wanted to. It's just if we deal with the witch now, we won't get this mace put away for probably a year. Just, just remember, if we have the mace and a nasty grabs the mace, so maybe you don't want to go near the witch with it. That's what I'm saying. Let's avoid the witch. Yeah. And Go I like the idea course. of taking the boat because we'll get there quicker. Yeah. I like to you get rid of the mace of ASAP. Get a boat, yeah. so. Hook up yep. the travel. And I haven't done Just boat travel travels, in no. Richard's yeah. game, so maybe that will be different. It'll be fun. As long as we don't end up with a, have a crack from a pirate kills. attack. And we sink. <laughs> and three black dragons land on the boat and stuff, yeah. you know. 
We should be all right. Uh, there's nothing like a shogun uh, uh, encounter while you're on the boat. Shogun. So you yeah. guys want to do Barachi? Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. It's it's, it's pretty close. Ooh, I think a book. All right. Oh God, let's not have a. So I think we have a plan, Richard. Mm -hmm. I think you do too. We're a plan. So how much do you want us to role play or do this stuff for getting out of the valley and heading to Barachi? <laughs> well, I mean, I think you know the valley's not very dangerous, so reversing your way out of the uh, valley um, and you know you're probably like two days from the river and okay. if you miss it you'd be like another day and a half from the next river so um, sounds like a Who's going to blaze the trail, Ranger? <laughs> I mean, it is yeah. my job, right? Get to work, Ranger. Set us Give me a D20 that. row, Ranger. Set us about that. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's what I like to see. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys went west instead of east. Good thing we had a ranger with the party. Oh, oh fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, the sun sets in the, the, sun sets okay. in the east, right? He's not that far off, but yeah. Okay, so. Um, would, that, would that be an attraction or is that something else? The, the what? Would that uh, be an attraction or something else? That was blazing a trail through the forest to a river you've never been to before. Oh, okay. So either you got lost <laughs> or you found a giant anaconda. A giant anaconda? Holy shit. Well, I'm just talking about all the... I keep hearing all these dice rolls, so I'm coming up with... Crazy stuff. Yeah, see, he doesn't have the auto generator. Giant right Anaconda, who's somebody. I'm all pet. quiet when I do it. <laughs> I don't like dice. Me too. I do. Yeah, yeah. I do. Too. I still use them. Generator. But I'm stupid stuff, and fancy like that. Eating. <laughs> <Bob. Yeah. laughs> you you look at what? Not win, man. One way he rolls a, tw a one, and then on the uh, check. Uh, with Ends up rolling a twenty versus his stuff. Yeah, it's not yeah. tracking. Tracking is like following a trail. This is blazing a trail. This is setting off through a force you've never been through and have no idea except that you think the river is kind of mostly straight west of where you are, but a little bit south. Check your macro, Bobbin, because your pluses I would think should help you, but the way that's set up, it's hurting you. Well, it's just, just it rolling for you to get under 14. Right, yeah, but just you got two plus twos in there. You... Take the pluses out. Oh. And just use the... You know, oh, no, I think it's all right. Why does he get plus two, plus two? That's what I'm asking. If those are supposed to oh, help him, it's making his roll harder, not easier. So if they're supposed to help you, make it minus two, minus two. Guidance. <laughs> I'm, I'm not oh, sure how. Oh, I, I think that's probably a two e roll, and I'm not sure how that would work. <laughs> In one e, if anything, it'd be like a d six, but I'm using that d twenty method. Yeah. So, let's see whether well, there is direction. Who would be on the third? Who would be on a third watch? Doran. Nicodemus. Thron, Thronal, I think. We're on the third watch. What? Thronal? Put me on third watch. Thronal. All right, whatever. Here, roll it. 
Here it comes. <laughs> Not everybody's put me to work. Where is the uh, watch order? I thought we had one there. I apologize. I'm trying to build my blood sugar back up before I pass out. I think you guys may have it one time, but I don't know that it's been used in a while. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. The Ragnar must have erased it. Yeah, it's always my fault. <laughs> Are you sure I'm not related to you, Bob? Yeah. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Be positive. What I get at twelve? Cause yeah. I'm amazing. All that means is you might be awake whenever the giant anaconda bites you. Oh, you know how that goes with me. It never works. Cause that anaconda ain't got none. <laughs> Neither does Bob. <laughs> The anaconda's got way more than you do, sir. Ain't gonna, ain't got nana. Did Nicodemus like the girls with the big boom, boom? <laughs> she lay like drums. You like drums, do you? You're the man. Nicodemus Drum is lover. walking around saying something else about the anaconda. <laughs> right back. You don't wanna. And the anaconda. Just weirdo. Nope. Please go on. Wise disguise. Wise disguise. Nice. I like how you put the guy in. It makes me chuckle. So, whoever's on third watch, give me yeah, well, that. Was that? Okay. So, that was third all, and John did that. Third okay. All. So, you guys are watching, and third all. You see this owl. I see an owl. Come in and land in a tree, sort of out on the edge of the firelight. We're back with He's the kind owl. of watching you guys. Ooh. Yeah, because that's what the uh, Ted the saw, right? Here. Yeah. yeah. It was a black owl. Ted, did you shoot at it last time? Oh, Ted's not here. Oh, I'm starting to wonder what? Is it's this? not here, man. Oh, oh it's not here. here. Curious if the owl is the demon. Oh, this spot. Hello? Hello. Oh, yeah, so that's what you got. What happens? What do you do? We look at the owl in, ama in amazement. And it's beautiful. Look okay. at Ted's here and he's uh, talking to you guys. Little... I don't know. Is he, is he like Take different from normal owls? Flies is he a across. Owl? No, just a regular old grayish I'm a, horn, I'm a, like a horned owl, you know. And did he have a note? Not particularly extra large or anything. He's a good sized owl, but you know, in a bit he takes off and flies okay. out so and away. Uh, okay. Nope. I'm not gonna and then the sun comes up. Is that and whenever so now, Robin figures out which direction we should go? Two and a half days after you left the valley, the left the valley, you reach the river that should have taken you a day and a half to get to, or you reached a river. <laughs> Could be the next river, but you reached a river. Good going, Bob, and good going. Yeah, we knew we could rely oh, on I you. <laughs> Wait. Way to go, GPS. <laughs> 
So the next night, second watch, give me a perception checks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're very perceptive. Who is? You might have found something we didn't. Oh, everybody stayed out, huh? It's like the fourth person in a row for this watch. What? What? Oh, we're on a watch still. I thought you yeah, said the sun came up. No, this is the next I night. No, we've I'm already sorry. passed that. We've already we've already uh, traveled another day, and we're on the next night. Just call me Chimpy. I'm sorry. I'm so goofed. the two of you, Ragnar, and uh, and uh, and Bobbin, you guys are sitting there when suddenly you realize that there are elk grazing in the the clearing. We need food. Oh, so they white? See how hungry am I? Are they white? Barbecue. Or? Or are they normal elk? It's just regular elk. Okay. Are they really close or pretty far away still? I mean, they're. What do you mean by really close? I mean, they're like 60, 70 feet away, 80. Oh, so I could pretty shoot close. from here if I want some elk. Deer. Yeah. Sure, good. Yeah. You Bob, guys have been so quiet and so still that they came in to eat, thinking. I want to get breakfast for the gang. Pew, pew. Oh, like okay. Give me your, give me your rolls. Salt bacon. Ooh, that sounds good. Got salted pork in the morning. Ooh, salted elk. Oh, okay. Elk is supposed to be the best meat for you. Don't think I did it. Boom, boom. Oh, oh, is... oh yeah. Okay. So you take one of them down. Woohoo! Oh, nice. And the rest of them run off? Yeah. All right. I'm going to bring it over, you know, hang it up, Big gut it, and up. start uh, skinning it and piecing out the the good parts for the guys in the morning. I'm going to make okay. a turns nice help it was one of those. Turns out it was one of those uh, people that we just got the stuff from. Very possible. <laughs> so, is it a, it's got a nice set of antlers. I can make a little hat for me. Tastes a little irony. Hmm. It's a little irony. Yeah. It's a little ironic. I think my irony. plate mill would look cool with like an elk cape on it. <laughs> it's going to take okay. a while to make one of those, buddy. So, <laughs> take, with you. For a dwarf. take it to Barakia. You're just a few days away. Cool. Yeah. It's cold still. It's winter. It'll keep. Rock and roll. So, you, third watch passes without incident. And uh, you guys are uh, headed down the river. At least I hope you're headed down the river. Down river without a paddle? Nice. That's the current <laughs> plan. <laughs> And uh... <laughs> all right, this is more fun than anything else, Richard. Yeah, <laughs> on my token, you know how it's missing one horn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll put the <laughs> antler in the other spot, and if I can rip out that horn, I'll put the other antler there. So I know I have an antler sure. in my head. I mean, you probably will need to have someone do that when you get to town, but you can have it done. <laughs> that's fine. It just makes me chuckle. So yeah, no, that's good. Home now? And well, I think you got to chuckle out of it, too. <laughs> Ragnar, the elf warrior. Exactly. Okay, so um, midday, you guys are coming down the river, and you see a group of uh, four people on horses. You aren't sure. You figure they're humans, but you, you can't really, you aren't close enough to make a, a definite, but they're big enough to be humans. 
they're riding horses, they're wearing typical clothing. And um, they are leading uh, several pack horses. So what do you guys do? I would just wave at them as they go by and see if they wave back and look friendly or not. I don't see reason to get in a fight. They seem friendly enough. <laughs> okay. Everybody's friendly enough. Right? <laughs> Today's friendly day. I'll do my best impression <laughs> of an elk bugle. Okay. Yes, maybe you could have your horn, the one horn for your helmet, made into a horn for you. Exactly. I think I could do something like that. Yeah. Instrument. Yeah. We're just building character. That's all so, we're doing. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so um, they get closer. You guys get closer. I mean. Obviously, yeah. you can tell they're armed, but you guys are armed as well. Does anybody um, touch a touch a weapon? Not in any way that would make you think they were getting ready to try to start a fight. Okay, no problem. I won't. I'll just try to. I mean, they they look. I mean, you're getting closer. They're. You can't really tell they they're wearing heavy coats, but they may have some armor on. But they're not. Uh, they're definitely, uh, you know, merchanty in their look, uh, in their horses, uh, their clothing, their hats are are very nice. They're wearing long fur coats. Um, I give it my you horse finally, gump wave you again. Will, Reach up to the meet up with them and uh, they will greet you or return your greeting, whoever greets first. Um, and they'll introduce themselves, and yeah, that's what they are. They're just for merchants heading uh, merchants. back yeah, up towards uh, Autumn Lake. <laughs> I found your source, Bob, and is it Jiffy? Is that where you do it? Yeah. Ha. <laughs> sort of found your secret. Secret of what? Secret of if his we, success. If we tell you, wouldn't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't we get the okay, be a secret anymore. <laughs> Well, I know the secret. It's Jiffy, but I don't know what that's referring to. You know that, <laughs> that powder mix that you make? Honestly, if you don't know, of? then you haven't been paying attention for the last year. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> all about the butter. Bobbin is the king of throwing GIFs and stuff into the chat. Yep. Oh. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> okay. And so... Um, yeah, I mean, they did. You got anything you want to tell them, ask of them? You know, a good place to charter a boat in Barakia. Good question. Considering they don't seem. Yeah, right. go to the Admiral's, the Admiral's uh, perch. That's where the best captains will normally be. Thanks for the advice. Very well. What do you, what do you have? Hope it works, you works for you. Would you like a little bit of elk meat for your next meal for that great information? Sure. I'll, give, I'll slice them off some elk. Okay. Making friends. Wherever I go. Yeah. You said they were merchants. What are they carrying? Or should I ask them? What are you, I mean, what are you, you guys can't selling? tell. It's pretty well packed up. You oh, know, they're not they're trying not... to sell anything. 
and oh, okay. uh, you know they're 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 hidden somewhere a good distance. They're mm-hmm. from there. They they their buys and they're taking them back. Uh, I understand. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's all right. <clears throat> um, so the uh, you guys will reach your your end of the day and make camp, and that's where we will pick it up. Oh, we're at that time already. Yeah. It's ten. Yeah. yeah, I was just not rolling any ones tonight for encounters. I know that feeling. <laughs> well, do you just want to have one and like pretend we rolled a one and set one up for us? <laughs> <laughs> Are you encouraging and not the um... famous last words? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, right. Guys, you're somewhere along here as far as you know, where that little yellow line is. Where are we? Oh, right there. Yep. I see. Okie dokie. The river is not overly problematic, but you think, you, you know, You'll deal with exactly where the crossing is when you get there. And we're going to where? Where, where are we going? Barakia. Okay. And we're going by boat or we're we going there to get a boat? Going there to get a boat. You're going to Barakia to get a boat. Oh. Is it named Barachita? Yeah. Okay. So we will be back here next week and see if we can get to Barakia and get a boat. Cool. Thank you, Richard. Yeah. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you. It was cool. You guys uh, did a great job getting getting out of that without having to just uh, kill a lot of people. Yeah.